in how many ways can we choose a number from 1 to 20 which is a multiple of 5 or 7. According to fundamental principle of addition, this can be done in 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 ways. The permutation of NPR, NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R. So what is the value of 9P7? 9P7 is factorial 9 divided by factorial 9 minus 7. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of discrete mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Computer Science with Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. In this session, I am going to discuss regarding the very simple and easiest concept that is regarding advanced counting techniques. So, in counting techniques, so let us discuss regarding the fundamental principles of uh, counting. So, first one is multiplication. In fundamental principle of counting, so already we have discussed this in your first units itself. Let me discuss once again. So the fundamental principle of multiplication will say is if one operation can be performed in m ways, if one operation can be performed in m ways and the corresponding to each way of the performing the first operation and the second operation can be performed in n ways, then the two operation can be performed in uh, m into n ways. Suppose if one operation is performed in m ways, another operation is performed in n ways, then the two operations can be performed in m into n class way that is called the fundamental principle of uh, multiplication in uh, this counting. The fundamental principle of multiplication is if uh, one operation is done in m ways, and the second operation is done in n ways, then the number of or two operations can be performed in m into n ways. Now, let us consider for example, if a die is tossed, if a die is tossed and the coin is tossed, if a die is thrown or tossed and a coin is tossed, find the number of all possible outcomes. So, what are the possible outcomes? So, a die can be fall in six different ways. Whenever a die is thrown, the possibilities are, so the numbers in the die are number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the possibilities are 1 to 6. So 6 different ways showing 1 to 6 numbers and a coin can be fall in two ways. So a coin, this is the die, whereas a coin can fall in two ways like head and tile, head and tile. So therefore the possible outcomes are, 6 here the number of events are 6, here the number of events are 2. So here m is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2. So m n number of ways is nothing but 6 into 2 is equal to 12 ways. This is called uh, the fundamental principle of uh, multiplication in counting. If a die is thrown and a coin is tossed, find the number of all possible outcomes means a die can be fall in 6 different ways showing any one out of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and a coin, whenever a coin is tossed, there are two outcomes that may be a tile or head, head or tile. So therefore, the total possible outcomes is 6 into 2, that is m is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2, m n ways means m into n is 6 into 2 is equal to 12 ways, the possibilities are 12 ways. Now let us come to the next concept that is called a the fundamental principle of uh, addition in counting. So the fundamental principle of counting, what this addition says, an operation can be performed in n different ways and it and if another operation can be performed in n different ways, then the two operations are mutually exclusive, then neither of two operations can be performed in m plus n ways. So, if one operation is performed in n different ways, another operation is n different ways. If they are, the, if the two operations are mutually ex exclusive, then neither of two operations can be performed in uh, m plus n ways. That is called the fundamental principle of counting with respect to addition. So let us consider for example, in how many ways can we choose a number from 1 to 20, which is a multiple of 5 or 7. So here, let us take the multiple of 5 or 7, the multiple of 5 or 5, 10, 15, up to 20. So how many ways can we choose a number from 1 to 20? 1 to 20 numbers we are going to choose 1 to 20, 
1, 2, 3, 4, etc. up to 20. So they are all multiples of 5. Multiples of 5 is 5, 10, 15 and 20. So there are 4 numbers. So here m is equal to 4 and the multiples of 7, multiples of 7 are 7 and 14. 7 and 14, therefore n is equal to 2. Okay, n is equal to 2. So here the number of uh, multiples of 5 are 4 numbers and here the number of uh, events are 2. So if uh, uh, m contains 4 events and n contains 2 events, then the number of ways of choosing the multiple of 5 or 7 is 4 plus 2 according to fundamental principle of addition of counting. So 4 plus 2 that is equal to 6, that is it, that is 6. So see it. if an operation is performed in n different ways, another operation is performed in n different ways and the two operations are mutually exclusive then they, neither of the two operations can be performed in m plus n ways. So let us consider for example, in how many ways can we choose a number from 1 to 20 which is a multiple of uh, 5 and uh, 7. So here the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15 and 20 and the multiples of 7 are 7 and 14. So therefore m is 4 and n is equal to 2. Therefore according to fundamental principle of addition, this can be done in 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 ways. So the same problem, suppose if the same problem, the number of uh, multiples of, if I take the multiples of 4, multiples of 4 and 6, let us take the multiples of 4. So let us call m, m is equal to multiples of 4, multiples of 4 are 4, then 8, then 12, 16, that is all. So, multiples of multiples of 4. So, here m is equal to 4. There are 4 ways. So, in 4 ways we can consider, we can choose the multiple of 4, 8, 12 and 16. 4 1s are, 4 2s are, 4 3s are, 4 4 are. Again, 4 5s are also we can take. 20, up to 20 is 4 5s are. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. So therefore m is equal to 5 ways. So in 5 different ways we can choose the multiples of 4. And whereas the multiples of 6, multiples of 6 is 6, 12 and 18. Multiples of 6. Multiple of. So n is equal to 1, 2, 3. 3 are there. So then according to the principle of uh, addition, m plus n ways is nothing but m is equal to 5 plus n is equal to 3, that is equal to 8 ways. In 8 ways, we can choose the multiples of uh, 4 and uh, 6. The multiple of 4 and 6, the number of ways of choosing the multiple of 4 and 6 is uh, 8 ways, whereas in the previous one, the multiple of choosing sub 5 and 7 is 6. This is called the fundamental principle of uh, addition in counting. Very simple concept. Now, we have discussed regarding the permutations and combinations in our previous classes. Let me take a problem based on the permutations and the combination. Let us discuss regarding the permutation first. Now, let me recall the formula for permutation and the combination. Let us consider the permutation first. So, the permutation is nothing but NPR, NPR is denoted as N factorial divided by N minus R. The permutation of NPR, NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R. Now, what is the problem given here? Permutation of 5 and 6, 5P1 and 5P2. Let us find out what is 5P1. 5P1 is nothing but factorial 5 divided by factorial 5 minus 1. That is equal to factorial 5 divided by factorial 4. You know what is the value of factorial 5? 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by this is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. These two gets cancelled that is equal to 5. So since the value of n p 1 is equal to n itself, 5 p 1 is equal to 5. Now on the other hand, find out the value of 5 p 2 factorial 5 divided by 5 minus 2 factorial. That is nothing but factorial 5 divided by factorial 3, this can be written as 5 into 4 into 
factorial 3 divided by factorial 3, 3, 3 gets cancelled, 5 for the 20. So, the value of this equation, the value of this equation 5p1 plus 5p2 is equal to 5 plus 20, that is equal to 25, that is it. This is how we are going to evaluate this problem. So, 5p1 is 5, 5p2 is equal to 20. 20 plus 5 is equal to 25 is the required solution. So, you may expect this type of questions for uh, 2 marks. Okay, now let us come to the next problem. So, in how many ways can the letters of the following words can be arranged? The first one is the try. So, try in how many ways the letters of the word try, T, R, Y can be arranged. Just count how many letters are there. T, R, Y contains T, R, Y. This contains 3 letters. So, there are 3 letters. In these three letters, these three letters can be arranged by taking three at a time is 3p3 ways. So, 3p3. So, what is the value of this 3p3? 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 3 factorial. Since you know the formula for NPR is equal to factorial n divided by factorial n minus r. So, factorial 3 into 2 into 1 divided by factorial 0. Since you know the factorial value of 0 is 1. 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 1 is equal to 6. So, we can arrange this in 6 ways. So, 3 p 3 that is equal to 6. So, the value of the letters of the word try can be arranged in 6 ways that is it. Okay? Now, let us come to the next problem. So, same how in how many ways the letters of the word Monday can be arranged. So, this contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this can be arranged in 6p6, 6, 6 letters are there. This can be arranged in 6p6 6 ways, that is 6p6 6 is factorial 6 divided by 6 minus 6, 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 0 factorial is 1, 6 into 5, 6 5 is a 30, 30 into 4 is a 12, 12 to the 24 divided by 1. So, 30 into 24, 24 threes are 72, 720, that is it. So, we can letters of the word Monday in 720 ways. Now, let us take one more problem. So, in how many ways? 7 persons can be seated in 9 chairs. So, how many persons? 7 persons. How many chairs are there? 9 chairs. So, in how many ways can 7 persons can be seated in 9 chairs. Okay? Okay, now let us come to the next problem in how many ways 7 persons. 7 persons can be seated in 9 chairs. So, how many chairs are there? In 9 chairs, how many persons? 7 persons can be arranged in. So, 9p7. So, what is the value of 9p7? 9p7 is factorial 9 divided by factorial 9 minus 7. So, this can be done in 9p7 that is equal to factorial 9 divided by factorial 9 minus 7 that is factorial 9 divided by 9 minus 7 is 2 factorial. So, 9 factorial means 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 that is equal to 1. So, if you multiply 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 then you are going to get 181440 ways. That's all. 181440 ways. So that is 181,440 ways. So this can be arranged in 181,440 ways. That's it. Okay. Let us come to the next problem. So, this is also important for a 5 marks. So, you may expect this type of questions for a 5 marks. There are 3 red, 4 blue and 5 green balls in how many ways they can be arranged in a row. So, how many red balls are there? So, the number of red balls are, red balls are 3 and the number of blue, blue balls are 4 and the number of green balls are, how many green are 5. So, totally, so total. There are 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3 is 12 balls. So, there are 3 red balls, 4 blue and 5 green balls. In how many ways they can be arranged in a row? In a row, right. So, the arrangement can be made in how many balls are there? So, therefore, they can be arranged in 12 factorial 
divided by 3 factorial into 4 factorial into 5 factorial that is it. So, this can also be written as 12 factorial means 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into factorial 5 divided by 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 into 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, divide into factorial 5 these two gets cancelled and cancel the terms which gets cancelled 3 3 is a 9 gets cancelled 2 3 is a 6 gets cancelled again 4 2 is a 8 gets cancelled again from this 3 3 3 4 is a 12 again 2 5 is a 10 if you simplify 4 into 11 into 5 into 3 into 2 into 7 into 3. So, if you simplify this you are going to get 27,720 ways that is it. So, these are simple examples for a fundamental principles on a counting. So, there are 3 red balls, 4 blue and 5 green balls. Totally there are 12 balls. Out of these all these 12 balls can be arranged in a row. In how many ways they can be arranged in a row? So, that is 12 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 4 into 5 factorial that is equal to 27,720 ways. That is it. Hope you followed. Okay. Now, now, let us come to the next problem. Let us take one more problem. So, in how many ways in how many ways a two digit number number can be formed from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. How many in how many ways can a two digit number can be formed from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many numbers are there? There are 6 digits are there. So, we are going to form a 2 digit number. So, that is nothing but 6 P 2. Okay. Now, so to form a 2 digit number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this can be done in 6 P 2 ways. That is equal to factorial 6 divided by factorial 6 minus 2. That is equal to factorial 6 divided by factorial 4. That is equal to 6 into 5 into factorial 4 divided by factorial 4, 4 and 4 gets cancelled, 5, 6 is 13, 30 ways we can form a 2 digit number, ok, that is it, hope you followed. So, that is all regarding uh, this session, these are the basic things, already we have done this type of problems in uh, unit number 1, just the revision of all those things in this fundamental principle of uh, counting. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.